Hello and greetings my friends. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am sharing with you my Winco haul. I haven't been to Winco in quite a while, so I picked up a lot of stuff. I want to show you what I'm going to be doing with all of this food behind me, so let me show you everything. I got some onions. Um, I forgot to pick up garlic, or maybe I didn't see garlic, but I needed some garlic, so I'm going to have to probably do that through Walmart or something. In this little bag, I have some ginger. This is fresh ginger. I just pulled off like a little knob. I think that's what you call them, like knobs, um, to make like ginger tea. I'm gonna make like uh, a chicken madras dish tonight for dinner so I want to take a little bit of the ginger and add that to the dish okay this is probably the first time ever in my life I have shown <laughs> this on any type of haul this is vanilla frosting and I'm doing this because I have an upcoming um, Christmas movie night so I did this last year I did a home alone family movie night and we did like some home alone themed dinner and dessert ideas so I'm gonna do an upcoming one and you guys should see it probably next week so I'm gonna be doing a jingle all the way themed movie night so I'm coming up I've come up with like some ideas so I cannot wait to share that with you guys but for the what I'm making I wanted to get these just to make it easier I have four cups of Greek yogurt these are for my husband's lunches they are the mixed berry I also picked up two containers of strawberries and these guys I'm gonna put right into the mason jar so that they last longer I have five navel oranges here I'm gonna be juicing them and using some of the zest too to be making some cranberry orange loaf I'm gonna make some for my husband's co-workers I love this time of year because I get to bake a ton and then give it away so love to do that and I have a lot of cranberries left over from my Costco haul, so I'm gonna use that. I picked up five Honeycrisp apples um, for my kids to use like as a snack with some peanut butter. I have some Roma tomatoes here. So I think for our Jingle All The Way theme movie night, I'm gonna be making like tacos, so a taco bar. I'm also gonna make some guac, so I'm gonna throw in a tomato into the guac as well. And of course, I need some limes, so I'm gonna use some of the lime juice for the guac, along with some cilantro, that's cilantro in here. I picked up some coconut milk. I mentioned I'm gonna make like a chicken chicken madras dish tonight and it's kind of like a butter chicken but you use coconut milk in it so I'm going to be using that for that dish tonight and I mentioned this before if you've ever seen any of my Target hauls the best coconut milk that I've ever found is from Target it's the up and up brand the unsweetened coconut milk definitely try that if you've never tried it before it is the bomb I did pick up a package of chicken um, I think right now too at Costco Oh, or maybe it's in the next day or so. I need to look. But I think their Costco is going to, their Costco, I think their chicken is going to be going on sale for like seven bucks off. I remember they did this like a couple months ago and I took advantage of that. But what I like to do whenever I go to Winco is I love to get this chicken because I will wrap these, these breasts individually. There's usually about six to seven breasts in here and I'll wrap them individually in saran wrap and freeze them. And I use that to supplement my Costco chicken because we generally need about three chicken breasts if I make some dinner and that will have like a little bit of leftovers. But with the Costco chicken, you get about two ish breast I would say or one really large breast and that's not usually enough but I don't want to open up another package so what I like to do is I like to take one of these breasts and like we'll use that to supplement for our food I've run out of all the bacon I need to go to Costco but I do love their deli bacon I get their pepper turkey so delicious I got a little over a pound of it some green leaf lettuce this is for our taco night I have some green grapes back here the red grapes were not looking fresh at all, so I had to pick whatever looked good. And usually in the winter time, obviously it's more like citrus-based fruit that you should be eating. But my kids really like grapes, so we're going with the green grapes. I did get some sweet Maui onion chips from my husband for his lunches. Some shortening. I made the other night, I found, I was going through like some old, old recipes. And this one I had written out like when I was in junior high for some applesauce bars. And it was a recipe that my best friend's mom had given to me. And in her recipe, it calls for shortening, but I didn't have it obviously, but I used butter instead and it was delicious, but I want to try the original way. So I'm going to try to make it again uh, and make some homemade applesauce for that. Hopefully I get to share that recipe with you guys soon. I did pick up some cheese uh, for tacos and then for whatever I like to have mozzarella cheese on hand for like quesadillas or if I make like pizza or pasta I always like to have that on hand I have some avocados right here I mentioned I want to make some guacamole for our taco night so these will just be resting on the counter until I need to use them in the next few days I still have a ton of bananas over in the corner, um, but I want to just add some more so I got a few more just to add to our collection of bananas 
some egg noodles. I'm not sure what I'm doing with that. I didn't really make a great meal plan this week. I have ideas. Uh, I need to be better at like writing them down and pre-planning. I used to do so good. I feel like it's the end of the year. I'm like kind of sloppy now. I'm like, oh, I'll just do whatever kind of a thing. But uh, I'm just wanting to put these egg noodles in the pantry to make something with. I did pick up some boxes of cereal for snacks, some Lucky Charms, and I thought my husband would really like this. His favorite his favorite cereal is Cinnamon Toast Crunch. This is Sugar Cookie Toast Crunch, limited edition, so we'll see if he'll enjoy that. I picked up some orange marmalade. So the other night I was looking for blankets to put on my kids' beds because I'm like, I refuse to put the heater on just yet. And as I was looking for blankets, I came across let me show you real quick. I came across this. This is my grandma. She passed away when she was 101 or 102 maybe. I really wanted her cookbook, or not her cookbook, her recipe book. Now, she was alive at the time that she gave it to me and she was like, I have no idea why you want this, but go ahead and take it. But the thing is, I found some really good things in here and there, I was looking through her recipes and stuff. There's some different things in here. Like there's shrimp molds. I'm like, what is a shrimp mold? But anyway, there was a recipe in here for like orange marmalade loaf or something different I don't even know what it was I have to look through here again but anyway I so I found this and I want to make some of her recipes have y'all been seen or reading anything about Bragg and the apple cider vinegar and the new ownership of it I don't know really what's going on but the thing is for now this is all that they have as far as organic with mother um, apple cider vinegar at Winco. So I know this is kind of like a controversial issue right now with what's happening. If you don't know what's going on, I guess Bragg sold their company to Katy Perry and Bill Gates from what I'm understanding. Not sure. I don't know more than that. But anyway, they're saying they're changing the recipe up or something. I don't really know, but I love this stuff. I'm hoping that they don't change anything and keep it the original way. That's why people love it. But anyway, I like to usually have this, not just for recipes, but I used to a long time ago take like apple cider vinegar shots like in the morning with warm water and lemon. I would like to get back into that, especially with cold and flu season coming up. I have a bag of spinach, of course, for my protein smoothies and salads and sandwiches and wraps. I'm gonna be making a lot of baked goods over the next couple weeks. I have one bag of powdered sugar in my pantry, but I wanted to pick up another one just to have. I did get some cornstarch. I was running low on that guy. Um, I usually have to use a lot of this whenever I make my sticky honey chicken. It is such a good recipe, really fast dish, but it takes a lot of cornstarch, so I needed to replenish that. For our tacos, I'm gonna be making, I, I'm surprised I don't have any corn tortillas. I need to get some from Costco, but we're gonna be using some corn tortillas for our tacos. I love the pepper turkey from the deli section. It is the best turkey that they have there. Every once in a while, I might get like their sun-dried tomato but this just like beats all of the turkey that they have this was actually free to me because I had a coupon that my mom had given me for a free like Thomas product and so I was like well I need to use this I've literally been sitting on it for like months and it was gonna expire at the end of this month so I wanted to use that of course, I'll probably make like maybe breakfast sandwiches. I don't know, we'll see. Again, just kind of replenishing my pantry, some linguine for like shrimp linguine or something. I don't know what I'm doing, but that, at least I'll have it. I was running low on the beef bouillon powder, so I got that for the pantry. Back here, we got some flour and sugar for all of my baking needs. And I did pick up some fresh baking soda. I like to switch it out like every six months or so so that I'm using fresh, good stuff. Along with some almond extract, I have several recipes that call for almond extract. I love the smell of almond, oh my gosh. It's just so warming and like cozy to me. That's probably my favorite one. Then vanilla extract would be my second favorite. I did get some popcorn just for like late night snacks. My kids will be going on Christmas break here soon along with my husband. So I just wanted to have this in the pantry ready to go so I don't forget it. It's not, I really don't buy a lot of popcorn. It's, it's kind of like a treat for us so that is for all of the Christmas movies. I did get a large, large jug back here. What is this? A one gallon jug of vinegar. This is what I use to clean with. I make my homemade um, all purpose cleaning spray with it. So I needed to get extra of that. And then I just picked up one gallon of milk. I have a couple already because I had to do a very fast Walmart order. 
And so I ordered a couple of gallons already, but I just wanted to make sure I had plenty because we're drinking hot chocolate too. All right, my friends. So that is it for this Winco haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel for my future videos because I would love to have you around and we will see you in the next one. Bye guys.